While money may not be everything, it certainly plays an important role in our life. It gives us the ability to buy the things we need and provide security, a comfortable lifestyle, a nice home, a good education and much more. Everyone desires to be among the richest people. But some claim it's all a matter of luck. It is not only a matter of luck, but also of your beliefs, positive mindset, creative approach and hard work. As we are talking about the richest people, do you know who actually comes under this list? If not, do not worry. Today, Simply Learn has brought this interesting video on the richest people in the world in 2023, where you will get to know the top 10 richest people of this year. Before getting into our list, it is a gentle reminder to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Well, moving forward, let's see the top 10 richest people in the world. In the 10th place, we have Francois Bettencourt Myers. Francois Bettencourt Myers is the granddaughter of L'Oreal's founder and the world's 10th richest person. Bettencourt Myers and her family own approximately 33% of L'Oreal and became France's reigning L'Oreal heiress in 2017. Today, Bettencourt Myers has a net worth of $83.3 billion. In the ninth place, we have Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Ambani is the founder and chairman of Reliance Industries, which has investments in petrochemicals, oil and gas, telecommunications, and retail. Reliance sparked a telecom price war with the launch of the 4G phone and internet service Geo in 2016. Today, Ambani is the ninth wealthiest person in the world with a net worth of $85.3 billion. In the eighth place, we have Steve Ballmer. Steve Ballmer's Los Angeles Clipper owner began his career at Microsoft in 1980 and eventually took over the company as CEO by replacing Bill Gates. His term of office and legacy as CEO of Microsoft has received a good response, with the company tripling sales and doubling profits. Due to this achievement, he occupies the 8th spot on the list of the wealthiest persons in the world and today has a net worth of around $86.5 billion. In the 7th place, we have Carlos Slim. Carlos Slim made most of his earnings through his ownership of America Mobile, a telecommunications company based in Mexico City. In addition, he owns a number of other publicly traded companies. He is now the 7th richest person on the planet with a net worth of $89.1 billion. In the 6th place, we have Bill Gates who co-founded Microsoft with his late childhood friend Paul Allen in 1975. Over time, Gates shifted from the company's CEO to the board chair in 2008. He joined Berkshire Hathaway's board in 2004. Today, Bill Gates is the 6th richest person in the world with a net worth of $106.7 billion. Now, what do you think? In the current economy, who will lose their place in the top 10? Share your response in the comment section. Moving forward, in the 5th place, we have Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, an organization that owns more than 60 companies, some of which are well known such as the insurance company Geico, the battery manufacturer Duracell and the dairy queen food chain. When he was 11 years old, he made his first investment in the stock market and today he has a net worth of $108.4 billion and is the fifth richest person in the world. In the fourth place, we have Larry Ellison. Larry Ellison is the co-founder of the software corporation Oracle. In addition, Ellison became a member of the Tesla Board of Directors in December 2018 after having an earlier investment in the company by achieving 3 million shares and almost owning the whole island of Lanai, located in the Hawaiian Islands. Now he has a net worth of $114.3 billion and is the fourth richest person in the world. In the third place, we have Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, an American entrepreneur and the founder of Amazon, holds the position of the third richest person on the planet. His viewpoint had not changed even after he and his wife Mackenzie filed for divorce in 2019 and in 1997, he took Amazon public and became the first man since Bill Gates to achieve a net worth of more than $100 billion and today he has a total worth of about $122.9 billion. In the second place, we have Elon Musk. Elon Musk, Tesla's techno king, the founder, CEO and chief engineer of SpaceX and now the CEO of Twitter. While the current market value of his electric car company Tesla is close to $800 billion, the rocket company owned by Elon Musk, SpaceX, is estimated to be nearly $100 billion. With all this popularity and worth, Elon is the second richest person in the world with a net worth of $196.5 billion. Now in first place, we have Bernard Arnault, who is the chairman and chief executive officer of LVMH in France. Arnault, a trained engineer, first demonstrated his business skills while working for his father's construction firm, Ferret Savener, which he took over in 1971. His vast empire consists of more than 70 companies, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. Today, Arnaud is the wealthiest man in the world, with a net worth of $217.7 billion. Now, what do you think? Who will climb the ladder and earn a place in the top 5? Share your response in the comment section. 
One thing you may find familiar among people on this list is the presence of icons in the tech world. For decades now, the IT sector has functioned as a breeding ground for high salaries and growth. To be a part of the industry and start your journey in the IT sector, check out the various courses offered on our website to upskill yourself in domains like artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, and cloud computing to accelerate your career. Please like the video and share it with your friends. For more videos, visit Simple Learn YouTube channel. For any queries regarding this topic, mention them in the comment box. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.